Today, Delicious Crew, I just landed at Fort Myers Airport. We are here in Florida. I'm meeting up with my brother and we are going to Key West and we're gonna eat our way across the island. It's gonna be a good one. Let's get it. This guy right here. One, which one, which I think one? this. I'm Kyle. Kyle yeah. All right, we're renting our doing, golf okay, cart. How you doing? Nice to meet you guys. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we got a club car right here. We're taking for the weekend. Yeah, we... All right, first order of business. We got to find an oyster bar here and get some raw oysters. Ain't that right, Kevo? That's right. Let's go. This tower was eighty-five dollars. So eighty-five dollars. For some sea buggers. All right, Kev. All right, what do you think? What do you think? That's eighty-five dollars for that thing. Uh, yeah, I mean it's Key West it's prices. Key West, but Key it's West still prices. Good. Where are we at? Hogfish. Hogfish. It's located right next to a marina. You got to kind of skeet and skirt down a little roadway through residential, and then we are here at Hogfish. We heard this place is pretty good. You got the whole snapper. Go ahead. I got the uh, hogfish sandwich. So apparently this is hogfish. And it has onions and mushrooms and Swiss cheese on it with uh, some Frenchy fries. I've never had hogfish before, but it does taste like every other fish I've had. I said a fish sandwich. I think they had a good presentation with their good. food. Yeah, good service was great. Great our service. Our server, our server was awesome. Awesome. But, but, <laughs> but. I think there, I, I don't think the food was necessarily bad. It just wasn't anything to write home about. I think it was very average. Nothing stood out to me. You made a good point. You were like, why do I like the French fries more than my main dish? And I also felt kind of the same way. So I think there's a little bit of problem there. This restaurant was hyped up. I think that's the point to take home. If the French fries on your plate are your favorite part about the meal, maybe it's not the best. Maybe. Later on that night, my brother and I were eating some gyros in the hotel room that we got from a fast food joint down the street. And we were contemplating and thinking about how the gyros from a fast food restaurant actually tasted better and were more enjoyable than some of the other restaurants we were visiting during the day. We were disappointed and felt defeated that these nicer restaurants where we paid a lot of money to eat at just weren't up to par. And we were contemplating on how to save this video and save our food vacation. So I woke up and I went to the local food truck that was inside the hotel. I sat there and I ordered some food. It was traditional Cuban food. And I ate the food. And as I was eating, I realized maybe I'm lo looking at this all wrong. Maybe instead of going to nice fancy seaside restaurants, we need to do something a little different. So I thought about it and came up with a game plan. And here is what we did. I went back to the hotel room. I looked around cleared the desk off because I needed some working space. I slapped the piece of paper down, I got on my phone, and I started looking up all the little food trucks and greasy spoon places in Key West. Nothing fancy. Tried to find local. Threw my shirt on, sat down, got my shack shoes out, pumped them bad boys up, and got ready to go out for the day. Pit Vipers on, and let's hit it. Our calculations are correct. <laughs> this is a food truck called Wiscaca, Key West Caribbean cuisine fresh and fast Venezuelan food from what I read online. So 
I think we got a banger here. What's happening? What's the name of your place? How do you say it? Wesakaga. West Wesakaga? Yes. Yeah. Okay, this is, I heard this is Venezuelan food? Yeah, authentic Venezuelan. Authentic Venezuelan, that's what we're after, right? right. Authentic food. Yeah. Okay, excellent. What's your specialty? I always recommend the cachapas. Okay, they the are cachapas. the last thing on the menu, the hojotitas cachapas. Yeah. That is sort of like a corn pancake. Yeah. Um, but it comes with meat. Fresh colada. Fresh colita. It's like a red pop. Get, get. I'm trying to open this, bro. Get. Ah, ha, ha. Ha. I got mine open first. Ha. 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 Salud. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. It smells like a bubble gum, red something. Fresh. Oh, it's good. Honestly, it's really I like good. how you roll the R in that because mm -hmm. it's like so, fres. Yeah. But I would just say fres. That's your corn pancake. <laughs> yeah, nice. The, that's the arropa. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is the cachapa. Uh, Dude, this is heavy. Dude, the sun is. We are in Key West. The sun is blaring. Okay, check this thing out. Let's, oh my let's go. God. I got I to pull this thing out of here. Look at this. Look at this. Bro. Are you kidding me? Bro. Let's get a shot of this. Oh. Dude. This is called the cachapas. Look at that. Cheese, beef. I got the shredded beef. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you put the sauce on it, dude? Oh, I didn't put the sauce on it. It's crunchy. Crunch, crunchy, but soft. Corn bread, whatever this is, Gouda cheese, and the pulled pork is full of flavor. Oh, there's a lot of flavor in that. Put the green lime sauce on it. The is a little bit sweet. The brings is a little bit sweet. The flavors are incredible. <laughs> Dude, that's so good. Let me try this. They're unbelievable. Unbelievable flavors. I love aropas. This is the pork and the cheddar. Aropas. Yeah. When I go camping, I use aropas to like tie down stuff. Mmm. Mmm. The crunch. The crunch, bro. The crunch is it's it's so the, good. It's got the crunch. Where are we at? Hey man, what 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 streets are we on? Flagger, flagger, first. Yeah, but if you're gonna look it up, just look up. Just look up. West Kaka. West Ka How do you say it? West Kaya. Ka just look that up. Right there. Key West. Right there. Street food. Local. Street food. The person needs to put exhaust in the car. Local street food is where it's at. Don't go to these big box tourist trap restaurants. The local street food is up. Come get yourself a cachapa. <laughs> it's better quality food. It's tastier food. And it's cheaper on top of it. And you know what? And you're supporting like local. The money goes directly to the death. Right. The food is awesome. This so is much. this is the best thing we've had since we've been here. Thank you so, so much. This is great. Thank you. So you got a Facebook or anything? Do I people have, people? I have a Facebook and I have an Instagram. Instagram. People just look yeah. up the name on Instagram. Okay. Okay. Oh, are you making hamburgers? What are you making over there? Yeah, those are uh, burgers with smoked pork chop, ham, egg, and cheese. Lunch nice. Lunch. All right. If you guys want to come down and get some authentic Venezuelan food, you come down right here. Look them up. Give this girl all your business. <laughs> Get everything. She's awesome. Wazakaka. Wazakaka. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. You know, I am surprised, Kev. Yeah? Yeah, there's something that I'm like kind of questioning. Not one person has come up to me and challenged me on a one-on-one -on -one in basketball since I'm wearing these shoes. And also, 
no one has mistaken me for Shaquille O'Neal, which is really weird. You yeah, know? there's a striking resemblance. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I got a shoes on and everything, you know? Well, the day's young. The day is young. It is the world's smallest bar? I think that's what it's called. We're gonna see what's going on here. Here it is, right here. I don't know. Shelby! Wait a minute. Is this the whole bar right here? Absolutely. This is it? This is it. The world's smallest bar. I'm gonna get something special. Can I get a fat free water on the rocks? All right, excellent. You want one? They're really good. Uh, you got sparkling water? Oh my god, you're going crazy. This guy's a wild one over here, okay? Alright, cheers. Cheers. See how, let's see how she is. Party a little bit. Oh, that's the best. That's the best water in the keys, baby. Mm. The rocks are crunchy. Mmm. Fucking daddy delicious. How's that sparkling water? It's delicious. You want to try some? Yeah, I want to try here, some. Have a little bubbly. I don't want to go crazy here, though. I'm trying to quit. Don't I'm trying worry, to quit. I'm driving. Ooh, with the lime, it's son. Right. With the lime. Damn. Ooh. What's his name? Her name's Cleary. Cleary. Hi. Hi, cutie. Oh, hi, baby. Good girl. Hi. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. World's smallest bar, Key West, Florida. Come see Shelby. Do you work here all the time, Shelby? Wednesdays and Saturdays, 10 to 5. Wednesdays and Saturdays, 10 to 5. Come see Shelby, leave her a big fat tip. He's making some Thank key you. lime pie shots. There you go. I heard they're world famous. They are world famous. They're world famous at the world's smallest bar. Key West. Oh, it smells good. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's, that's good. That's, that's, that's dangerous. I'm I'm sure. 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 i am sure i am sure i am sure i Apparently there is a Korean food truck thing somewhere. And shout out to Ivy and Manny. They kept calling me Big Daddy Delicious. Maybe that's why I should have named my channel. So garlic. It's in an Airstream. It's super sweet. It's on a street off at the Ball Street. Look up Hank's hair of the dog. Look up Hank's hair of the dog. And this is like out front this before you go into the bar that's that way. We're gonna see what's up. So this is a hot dog with kimchi and it looks like some kind of gochujang sauce or something. Is that what that is? Yeah, dip, your, like cheese. dip your finger in that sauce. See what that sauce is. What is that? Is that gochujang? Uh, honestly, I think it's sriracha. That's sriracha. Sriracha. So this is kimchi with sriracha sauce uh, on some kind of hot dog. <laughs> sriracha is a little spicy. Damn, what is it? On there. Is it, oh, there's some cheese on there. Let's. This is the corgi dog. Corgi dog. This is we're eating corgi dogs. Kogi. Kogi. Dog. This is the Kobayashi corgi dog. That bun is buttered or toasted. That hot dog is a high quality hot dog. That's a big bite right there. All right, here we go. There's the kimchi. I only got a little hint of the kimchi flavor, so it's not like a super strong, pungent, sour, or spicy kimchi. That's okay, though, because they got to appeal to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they made it, because you make kimchi. Yeah, kimchi. If they made it like you made it, where, like, we're true Koreans, people might be turned off by it because kimchi's so pungent and smelly, you know? I definitely taste essence of Korean food in there. Right. I don't really think that I've come full circle with cheese on Korean food. Right. I've been seeing it a lot in videos. Yeah, that's people not... putting cheese in their ramen. And, yeah. And for some reason my brain just says no. Right. But but I shouldn't really cut off well, people's creativity. Right. So this but this is a fusion food so I'm okay with it on a fusion. If this is if they were trying to pass this up as a traditional Korean dish, 
I'd be like, no, uh, I'm good. Um, no, I wouldn't put cheese on it, really not. But this is a fusion, American fusion, Korean thing going well, on I'm here. I'm trying to accept I like more it. fusion food. I like this. I think this is a home run. Not everything has to be traditional. I think this is good. Green onion, yeah. Uh, green onion for the win. Garbo Grill. Right in front of Hank's hair of the doll. Yup. Garbo's Grill, get the Kobe dog. Kogi, yeah, Kogi, not Corgi. If, if you're eating a Corgi dog, that's bad because that's someone's pet. It's the Kogi. The Kogi at Garbo's. We're in a $5 store. Everything in here is $5. And it's funny because all over the store they have these signs that say clearance all along. Everything must go. Sony Guts Bro. Sony Guts. <laughs> it's not really Fujigawa, it's Sony Guts. <laughs> Sony Guts Bro. Everything must go. Everything must go, but this store is a $5 store and always has been a $5 store. Look at clearance, 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 $5. You're going out of business, huh? No, 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 it's just a sign. It's good for business. Yeah. We just left the Sony Guts Bro store. <laughs> Where? This right here? Is this what we're talking about? Yeah, is what we're talking about? about? We're gonna get, we're gonna get a, a thing? If you wanna get a thing? I'm just gonna get a thing. I'm just gonna get a thing. What? Venezuelan fried cheese. Man, I'm gonna die. We're all gonna die someday. <laughs> we're all gonna die. I'm gonna die. You're gonna die. But we're not dying today. Courtney! You're needed, Courtney. She's coming. She's coming. Oh, look at that lobster one. That looks good. Delicious. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. So we got the, the conch with the spicy pink. What is right this? On. In the Bahamas, they call this pink sauce. Okay. Ours has, our interpretation of it has a little kick to it. Typically down there in the Bahamas, it's not hot. Okay. Right. All right. Excellent. I like a little kick. This? Yeah. It's called the guayacaca. The guayacaca? Yes. Okay. It's, it's, guayacaca! Guayacaca! <laughs> and, then, and then what do we have here? We have Fri the fried Venezuelan yes. cheese sticks. Oh, the conch. And crack conch filet. Crack conch filet. This is hey. the conch fritters, which you bought like hush puppies. Okay, okay, excellent. Thank you very much, you sir. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right, hold on. Let's, let's take a cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Let's what? see. Fried crack conch. That's it. That's good. That's good. That's good. You guys got to get down there. Is like calamari? A little bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Little, it's honestly a little chewier. A little chewier than calamari? Yeah. It's good. There's spices. There's spices in the batter. The batter's great. The batter's good. The spices is crispy. It's a little tougher than calamari, yeah, yeah. but not in a bad way. You know. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Let's go. What do you think? Mm. Mm. It's a good snack, right? A little yeah. bit chewy, a little good. bit crispy. There's some flavor, some spices in it. Yeah, the bread is good. The breading's really good? good? Yeah, the bread is really good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Look like a fried bread yeah, with a cheese yeah. in it. Oh, come on. Thank um, you, guys. Dunk it. This is, yeah, there you go. Right. This is uh, very good. I'm trying to think what it tastes like. It's like a pastry? It's good. No, bread? no. It's like a bread. It's like a Bosco stick. It's like an advanced Bosco stick. <laughs> an advanced, yeah. An advanced Bosco stick. It's good. It's a Bosco stick. You guys know? It's like a bread stick with mozzarella cheese. Wait, are Bosco, are Bosco sticks only from like Michigan? Yeah. can't say that on the video then, can I? Like, well, maybe people will be like, what's a Bosco stick? And then they'll research it. Maybe I should do a review on Bosco <laughs> sticks. I mean, it's good stuff. It's good though. Mm -hmm. this, is good, this, stuff. this is a good uh, snack at late night. This that's what's going on right here. The Conk Shack, right here on Duval Street. Right here on the street. Come get you some good fried food. Delicious. Awesome. These guys are awesome in here. So this is where you want to come. I was wrong. What? It's not it's not guayacaca, it's guasacaca. Guasacaca! Guasacaca! Uh, guasacaca! Yes. <laughs> Come get yourself. Kirk Gang! What's up, Kirk Gang? Yeah! We are here at El Siboney. El Siboney on Stock Island. 
check out that sign, that faded sign. Check out this building right here. Yeah, I, El, El Sibony Restaurant. It's Cuban food, seafood, Cuban sandwiches, stuff like that. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna check this thing out. It's just a little place in the middle of the community. There we go. These are the fried chicharrones. They're hot. So this is like what pork pork skin. What is what is this? Yuca. What's you? Oh, the root. Root man. Look at this. Oh no. Oh man. Fried pork fat. Uh, it's so hot, but it's so good. It's so <laughs> full of flavor, dude. Does it need like a little salt? I don't think so. Maybe, but I don't think so. Bro. This is like the best bacon you've ever eaten in your entire yeah. life, dude. It's bones, bro. Wow. You, we have also some hot sauces. Wow. Some hot sauces. Wow. Mm. Uh, I don't know if I've had better pork than that. That's probably the best pork I've had in my entire life. How good is that? Oh, oh yeah, fried to perfection. How good. Mm -hmm. Crispy, crunchy, soft in the middle, full of flavor. Mm. I'm, so, I'm so happy right now. I know, I can tell. Siboney, El Siboney. You come here. Is it Siboney or Siboney? Siboney, Siboney. We're going to have to ask. This is what you want. Forget the seafood by the coast and all that, yada, yada, yada. This is what you want. Trust me. We got a main course. Uh, we're going to split each one. <laughs> this place, by the way, is called El Siboney, okay? Look at this bad boy right here. It's a skirt steak with cilantro mm -hmm. and onion. There's a yellow, like a yellow rice and what are these? Uh, plantain. The pla oh, the plantains, okay. Yeah. You got the lime to put on it. And they're right here. I don't even know what one this is called. What's this one called? Do you remember? <clears throat> um, I don't. But look at this. Look, look at good. look at this. Come on now. I mean, come on now. We go with the steak. We got lime all over it. Good flavor. Eat some onions wet. Mm. The plantinas. Mmm. Ooh. Sweet. Sweet and a little bit sour, mm -hmm. but you could tell it was like fried enough. Pan is caramelized. Oh yeah. Nice medium rare steak. Mm. Oh yeah, soft and chewy. Here we go. Mm. This one's better than that one. Yep. They're both good. This one's better than that one. Mm-hmm. We got rice pudding here with cinnamon on top. Homemade rice pudding. <laughs> Good. Probably some of the best rice pudding I've ever had. Oh, the, this flavor coming out of it. There's like aromatics coming out of this rice pudding. Mm -hmm. Also, they have homemade flan. There's like a caramel sauce on it, I believe. Let's get a, let's get a bite here. Sweet? Yeah. Dude. Wow. Texture, texture supreme? Texture's great. Very sweet. The caramely. It's really rich. Wow. Unbelievable flavor. Incredible. There's nothing more that I could want from this place. Cuban, Cuban coffee, yeah, espresso. espresso with sugar in it. Yes, yeah, traditional way of making it. So this is. Cheers. You got another one. Mm. It's like rocket fuel, baby. <laughs> so good. Mm. Thank Anything you. Anything else? That that should do everything great. Perfect. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me that flan ain't good, bro. I mean. That's some flavor. That's some texture and flavor explosion in your mouth. All right, so last night the camera died before we could give the final thoughts on El Sibony restaurant. So 
here's the thing. We've thought about this overnight. And what did we think? 10 out of 10. I mean, 10 out of 10. I mean, the place was phenomenal. Uh, you can't, I don't think you can really get more local than that for food wise. Some of the best Cuban food I think I've eaten. Ever, ever. The staff was incredible. Mm -hmm. The people in there were incredible. The, the, the price was fair. The price was fair. The food was incredible. The ambiance was awesome. And we were talking about how we love where you pull up and it looks kind of like a, like, you know, everything's a little sun kissed, sun faded, you know, and you're like kind of wondering, is this going to be, what's up with this? And then you walk in and it's beautiful inside and you're like, yes, we need to eat here. And I think that that would be a good place to take your family. If you're visiting the Keys, you're visiting Key West, and you want a really authentic, awesome family dinner and a good time, go to El Siboney. Yep, El Siboney on Stock Island. Stock Island. We were kind of full when we ate there, too. I'm, yeah. So that's, the, that's how you know it's good. That's how you know it's good. If you go there when you're full and you're and like, this food is, food is like banging, then you know that that place is, is off the chain, son. Right? We had appetizers, oh, appetizers. two main courses, oh, two main desserts, courses. Oh, coffee. Sing to me, sing to me, sing to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check it out. We are at the Marlin Cafe. It is a food truck here. It's uh, Duval Street's like another another street over, something like that. This is the food truck right here, in front of the, the Blue Marlin Hotel, right there. So they have a... Uh, they have omelets here, breakfast platters. They got a lot of breakfast stuff going on. It's served till 11.30 a.m. Then they got the dinner, all the platters and tacos and sandwiches, sides, burritos, all that stuff, man. They got, if you want coffees, they have coffees, lattes. So he's giving us a little sample of the beef brisket with, birria. I think I'm gonna go with a burrito. Let's still have taste. Right? Um, pastor burrito. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I wanna try this. This, this is the beef. Both. Yeah, beer. <laughs> right? So, yeah. Did you, are you ordering right now? Yeah, I got the pasta for burrito. I'm, I'm All right. Pasta pasta. And I'm going to get the beer and tacos. What street are we on right here? What street is this? Simonton Street. Sa what? Simonton. Simonton? All right, it's not Simonton Street, guys. Look at this. This is, look at it. Ho, 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 ho. These are your tacos. This is Mexican, Cuban, something or other. What are you going for the chorizo, yeah, chili for chorizo chili cheese fries? Chorizo chili cheese fries. Get a big keeping helping. Oh, there's so much cheese and stuff on it. Bam. Mm -hmm. Wow. The flavor is incredible. Chorizo on french fries is really good. There's so much flavor in it. Salty, mm, salty and cheesy, and dude, this is way better. Look at that! Oh yeah, this is way better than chili cheese fries. Here are tacos. Look at what the consomme right there. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these bad boys. Look at this. What kind of meat is this in here? You think? I didn't even ask. I think you said it was beef. It was beef. All right. Put a little of that whatever sauce on, and then we just. Dip this sucker in. Oh man, just like that, it's getting all over everywhere. Mm. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> mm. Do another dip. No dip. Oh yeah. Look at that consomme. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Meat is just super tender and soft. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this meat. It's just falling apart, man. Look at that. It's literally falling apart in your mouth. This is it. Don't go to a sit down. Don't go to a coastal, a coastal restaurant. You go on the street. The streets is where it's at. What do you got there, Kev? Uh, the pastor burrito. That's pork. Whoa, that pork is red in there, son. Look at that rice, the yellow rice. Delicious. All right, let's get a bite of that. Let me see you eat a bite right. of that. Mm. Well? Oh, yeah. That pork is so nice and tender and seasoned. Look at how red and good and delicious that is. Yeah, that's crazy. Perfectly rolled burrito. I love neat burritos. This is a neat burrito. Mmm. It has layers and textures. Key components. 
to a knockout burrito. Let me get that last bite. Let me get that last bite. Mm -hmm. Let me get that last mm -hmm. bite up here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's see it. Mmm. Ooh, the rice is good. So good, man. It's like moist. Mm. Moist. Kim's Cuban. Oh, they have Cuban coffee here too, dude. Oh, we're getting deli Cuban grilled sandwiches. They have conch fritters. Oh, dude, I'm going to have to get a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to have to get a whole bunch of stuff. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay hold on. So we're going to order two Cuban sandwiches all the way. All the way. What else we get? Uh, two um, coladas. Coladas and sugar. Conch fritters. Uh, six or twelve. Twelve. All right, those are the conch fritters. Cheers it up, baby. Hold on. Let's get it. All right, conch fritter. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, good. We should have ate them right away. I think they were crispy, but they got a little soggy in the. But that's okay, they're still really good. They're still really good. Oh, yeah, you know it's good when it comes in the wax paper. Yeah. Oh, bro. Okay, split that in half. Let's get a cross section. Oh, man, look at that, bro. All right, dude. Here we go. Cheers. Oh, dude. Mm. Those that, peppers. That pork is real good. Oh, my God. That's incredible. The bread is, like, perfect. Like, mm -hmm. it's like a... Wow. Wow. It's nice and saucy. Nice and saucy, baby. Kim's Cuban sandwiches, go get you some. That's, that's, that's good. So, when you come to Key West, if you want fish and lobster and seafood that's great there's a bunch of restaurants around but in my opinion they're kind of tourist traps um and it's fine the, the, the food's okay but i don't think it's exactly what we were wanting on the trip so i suggest kevin suggests that you go down and you find these little spots these little food trucks these little greasy spoon kind of deals where you with the locals and the people who live here and the people who really know how to cook and put some flavor in their food but that's all we got for you so this is uh kevin over here back here wave kevin and big daddy kyle coming straight at you from key west florida talk to all your sex cool cats later peace